With summer here and more families spending time outdoors, such as camping in the woods, parents are constantly bugging me about what they can do to protect their children and themselves from those bothersome mosquitoes and other summer insects. Well, let me try to bite into this problem and provide a few solutions that hopefully won't sting. First, the best way to avoid being bitten is to avoid areas where mosquitoes tend to nest or gather, such as stagnant pools of water, uncovered foods, and gardens with flowers in bloom, particularly between dusk and dawn. Don't have your child looking like a flower either. That means they should be wearing light clothing, but avoid bright floral colors. Khaki, beige, and olive seem not to be attractive to mosquitoes. Don't have your children smell like a flower. Certain odors can also attract those bugs, so avoid fragrances in soaps, shampoos, and lotions, particularly at this time of year, except for citronella lotions, which do seem to keep the bugs away. If you want to protect your child beyond the clothing and lack of odor, you can try an insect repellent on exposed areas of the skin. The most effective compounds are still ones that contain the chemical DEET, D-E-E-T, but these should be used sparingly on kids over the age of two months, or if absorbed too much into the skin, well, they can cause convulsions and even a coma. A repellent that contains 30% or less of DEET can be used safely if applied sparingly to exposed skin no more than every six hours, although not to the hands if a child is prone to suck his or her thumbs. Clothing made of synthetic fibers can be damaged by DEET, so consider spraying clothing with another chemical called permethrin, and this will protect clothing quite nicely, but it doesn't work as well on skin. By the way, avoid those combination products of sunscreen and insect repellent, since sunscreen needs to be reapplied frequently, while DEET, which can be toxic, should be applied less frequently. If a bite does occur, the mainstay of therapy is cool compresses, antihistamines, and anti-inflammatory medicines like ibuprofen. If swelling of the face or mouth occurs, nausea, vomiting, or difficulty breathing, seek medical attention immediately, because these may be signs of a serious allergic reaction. Hopefully, tips like this will take care of business, or is that buzzness, when it comes to dealing with those pesky summer insects. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital, reminding you to always be first with your kids.